The challenge for today is comment Wednesday with your eyes closed in the comments. I mean, where else? But good luck. Hi, beautiful people. That was kind of awkward, not gonna lie. <laughs> Today, I'm gonna be showing you how to get Enid's hair on Roblox. This is definitely one of my favorite characters from the Wednesday series, and I love the hair. And guess what? It looks so beautiful on Roblox. And of course, I had to make a video on how to get this for free. If you don't have enough Robux to complete your Enid's cosplay, I'm gonna show you how you can get the hair for free. I have an army of penguins here, and if you don't like and subscribe, they will all be sad, but it means a lot to me. But before that, if you want free Robux or gift cards, check out collectbucks.net. You can link out your account without a password. You do not need any passwords for this. By earning points from this website, you can get free Robux and also gift cards. As you can see, there are a lot of things that you can choose from. You can also put my code in, which is Blue Wolf right here. I'm at the cash out page and I just cashed out some Robux. So here are the pending Robux. The link for this website will be in the description. This hair is not from an event, so by the way, I will give you like more information as the video goes on. So yeah, let's get started with the video and I'll show you how to get this beautiful Roblox Enid's hair. So first step is to go on Chrome and search up Chrome Web Store. This is a thing that not a lot of people understood because they were saying in the comments that the download thing didn't appear. I'll show you what that is later on. But this is really important as this is the first part, so please do this, otherwise it won't be possible. Search Chrome Web Store and go on this link right here. It is the second one, so please make sure you go on that. Go on the search bar and this is what you have to type. BT Roblox making Roblox better. Kind of struggling to type here, I don't know why, but here is how it looks like. This is a free extension that you can download, so please make sure to go ahead and add it to Chrome. In the first step, we just had downloaded this extension. Now let's move on to the second step. So as you can see, I have these links here for you. They will be in the description below. We have got the render mesh link and also the texture link. So I'll show you what you need to do with these. This is the render mesh. This one is the link, the first one for this. The extension that we had downloaded allows you to download this link. So basically just go ahead and download this as a mesh, not OBJ. It'll be downloaded basically in just a second. So I'm just gonna move it to the desktop because it will be easier for me to find it later on. I'm going to do the same with the texture, except it's just going to download since it's not a mesh. So yeah, there we go. Let's move this also into the desktop. As you can see, we have got both of our mesh and the texture, and we are already so close to getting the hair. Go on your search bar and you're going to search for Roblox. Right click on it and then click on open file location. Once again, right click on it and then click on open file location. On content, go to textures. This is where all of the textures are, so you're going to search for face. You can't be lazy and search it up since it is going to be kind of difficult if you do, so just find it and then delete it. Once you've deleted the face, you're going to be moving that texture in, the hair texture in, like this. If you think this is super random, it will kind of make sense at the end. So go ahead and move this to the textures. Rename it as face and just keep it there. Make sure it is small letters by the way. Now, we will go back on avatar this time instead of textures. Let's go on heads and we are going to be deleting the head mesh. Okay, so now instead of this head mesh, we are going to be having the other mesh that we had downloaded into this folder. It is going to be random numbers, so we gotta fix that and name it as head mesh. Okay, so that was basically the last step. Now you can close everything and go to Roblox. And of course, I don't have the hair in my inventory because how will that magically appear, right? I'm going to show you how you can equip it also. So if you're currently wearing any heads, you're going to be removing them. Example, I'm wearing this cheeks head, so I'm just going to remove it by clicking on it. Same with the face. If you're wearing any face, you're just going to click on it and remove it. And it'll kind of look like this. So um, that is supposed to happen, by the way. I removed my hair also, by the way. This is kind of optional, so... Go on build right here. You're going to scroll down until you find R6. This is where you have to click on. So three, two, one. And would you look at that? We have the Enid's hair. I'm gonna remove my glasses so you can see it a bit better. This is so beautiful. I love it. I love it so much. Of course, as it is the changing of the textures, it is only visible to us, but don't you want such a beautiful hair for free? I would. So yeah, follow the whole tutorial and do this whole trick this is not a hack or a glitch, so you won't get banned or hacked for this. I've done this plenty of times. And yeah, I've become a penguin again. Um, anyways, 
Subscribe and like this video and comment the secret word as icy. Anyways, I will see you next time. Goodbye, everyone.